that stuff. Several trocars are then inserted. Surgery, 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 surgery. No, it's not the morning, but the lighting will be the same. It's the night before I go into surgery tomorrow and I've got two operations in the OR tomorrow. Yeah, but if you guys don't know me, my name is Zach. I'm a third year medical student in Philadelphia, about to finish up this third year medical school, actually crazy. This is probably the last vlog I'll ever do for the third year of medical school. Right now, I'm on the colorectal surgery service, but the reason I'm starting this video the night before, as opposed to the day of, kind of when I'm in the OR and stuff like that, is because actually the night before is when a lot of stuff happens. I got home a couple hours ago, uh, and what I've been doing is just, first of all, I get through all my Anki cards, of course, all my Anki cards, but then I want to check on my patients from today, so they're not my patients, but I follow like three or four patients and I want to see how they're doing. And then the cool stuff is looking about the operations I'm going to be in tomorrow. What are the operations I'm going to be doing? Who am I going to be doing them on? Why am I going to be doing on them? And all this kind of cool stuff. Because the preparation actually really helps. Like a couple times you'll be in the OR and they'll be like, what was the patient starting hemoglobin? Or even oftentimes people just ask like, what age is the patient? And if you know that, I don't know, I think it makes you look a little bit better. And it also makes you probably better, take better care of the patient. But usually, what I do is I go on Amboss. This video, by the way, is sponsored by Amboss. That's insane. I'm gonna talk about that more at the end of this video, but I love Amboss, whatever. Okay, this isn't the sponsor part. No sponsor, no sponsor part yet. But what I do is I actually do go on Amboss and, and I look up kind of the diseases. So they have really good like major categorizations for people like that are just starting in the clinic for like diverticulitis and colon cancer and Crohn's disease. Cause this is kind of the things I'm dealing with on the colorectal service. So I'll make sure I have a basic understanding of that, like why people get this disease, what the major treatment options are before I actually get into the operating room. And then I'll go into the surgery. So tomorrow, for example, I'm doing a total colectomy, laparoscopic colectomy. So it's when they take a little camera, look, look inside kind of the stomach and the abdomen. And the other one I'm doing is a robot. So if you've heard of that like fancy Da Vinci robot, they literally take this like massive million dollar machine and they like put it on the person and then it's on the person and then someone's like in a little con remote control room and they're like playing around in there. It's not playing of course, but it seems like that. I'll put a little video of it here cause it's really, really, really cool. Uh, the thing I need to do now, which I haven't done yet is I gotta look up the actual surgeries on YouTube. So YouTube actually just has like all these surgeries. So I'll look up the total colectomy and the total proctal colectomy and just like see what those surgeries are and see how they're done. Cause I'm not going to be doing much tomorrow in the operating room. Honestly, I'll probably be retracting a little bit. Maybe if I'm lucky, they'll let me do, I'll, uh, let me do a couple stitches. Um, but it's good to know because honestly, the more you know when you're in the operating room, the more fun it is. But yeah, so I'm going to go look up the surgeries now and then go to bed. I'll let you see if you can guess what time I'm going to wake up for the next part, but you'll see the next part. Good morning. It's time to cut stuff. It is very early. A little bit crazy early, but you know, surgery, surgery, surgery. So I'm gonna make some food and then uh, get to the hospital because we're gonna cut some stuff soon. Stuff, people, things. So it's 4.30 in the morning, it's rainy, it's junky out, 
Um, but it's cool. It's empty. It's always cool to wake up this early and just like no one's on the streets. Like I'm in front of a pretty important building right now. There's no one here. But yeah, I've looked up my patients. I've looked up the surgeries. I've done a little prep on Ambus. So I'm ready to go. I'm just going to go in now, go see the patients. And then after I see the patients, I'm going to, you know, get ready for the surgeries, get scrubbed into the OR and uh, get ready to do some cutting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to turn this off now because I don't want to bring this into the hospital. But I'll let you guys know when I have the first break from the surgery. So it's like 4.45 now. That'll probably be around 11, 12 o'clock. And I'll have 20 minutes to talk to you guys, go back and do another case, and then come talk to you at the end around 4 or 5. Let's go. Was really close to the hospital so I'm gonna stop by quickly eat my lunch it's two o'clock and get back in there I'll tell you what happened okay I'm in here in the oh, hey doggy hey 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 it's a good uh, quick spot to uh, go in between these kids Lily well <laughs> it's okay but I only have uh, one case left, but this case took from about uh, This case took from about 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock So what happened is we were doing stuff and we were using the fancy little ports But then we realized the fancy little ports won't w weren't working well enough So we decided so we had to go open it and like by open We had to make an incision down the midline and kind of do it from there and then everything went smoothly We finished but now the next case the person's like literally about to be rolled back so I have to <laughs> I have to eat food in about two seconds, play with this dog, because you cannot play with this dog, uh, and then get back in the room. Because they always tell me, you know, go grab food, go grab a snack, and I'm not sure if that means, like, get a real lunch or not. But okay. Next time you see me will be when I'm done for the day. It's 2 o'clock now. I got to the hospital around 4.45, 5. So I hope the next time you see me is around five o'clock, but more than likely it's gonna be like seven or eight o'clock. Okay. The elevator is I'm gonna try and speak before I get to the bottom. It's six o'clock now. I'll tell you the full story. I just wanna to go to the gym first, get my gym session in, get some food, and then we'll go over it. it I'm done it's like 7 30 so like 13 hour day uh, really cool really really cool stuff but it's long man it's long and you're just standing there in the OR so let me just go over really quickly like what the day entailed today because I know that's kind of what you wanted to hear about so the day was kind of I saw all the people that like I've been following which was like two or three or four people um, and then I went to the cases so the cases start around eight o'clock and I go and I see the patient in the morning they're in like a pre-waiting area and I just kind of hang with them until they ro roll back into the OR and remember they're going into surgery so they haven't eaten the night before they're kind of chilling they have their IV in and most of them are pretty nervous so it's kind of nice that you're there to kind of talk to them and be like oh listen like we're gonna my team's really good I say to every patient it is true but I'm like the team I'm working with like I chose specifically to learn under them because they're so good and they're such good at so good at what they do and that kind of helps them I think it helps them make them feel better and then you know we talk about random stuff like where are you from like what job do you have random blah 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 and then we roll back and then you move the patient from kind of their bed onto the OR table and then you set up the patient kind of how they're meant to be. Maybe you put in a Foley catheter, maybe you do special anesthesia stuff. And then the surgery starts. So the surgery starts, you know, I remember talking about this like a year ago. It was crazy. Um, when I was first scrubbing into my first OR ever, when I was on my OBGYN rotation. And you know, I feel like a seasoned pro now, even though I'm real, really complete novice and I know nothing. I'm like, oh yeah, give me that gown. I'm gonna put my hands in there, tie it behind my neck. Oh, I know I can't, don't worry, I won't touch that because that's not sterile. I think I even told, who did I tell? And I can't believe I did this the other day. And I wasn't being mean, but I think there was a nursing student in there and I was like, yo, be careful of your back because you're near the sterile table. And I was like, wait, I can't believe it. Like I, I get told that all the time and now like I'm that person. 
but I really have no right to do any of that, any of that or anything like that because like I know nothing. But I just didn't want her to get yelled at because I know the scrub tech and the attending. What do you? Anyway, anyway, besides the point. But usually you take little scopes in, and today you take little scopes in, but. Something was going wrong, it was too hard to see, so we actually went and made an open cut so we could see more from above instead of using our little instruments to see in. But yeah, so I had the first case, which was that, and then there was the robot case, which was really cool because you put all these little ports in and then there's some, the doctor goes into this little like space station and they're kind of controlling the robot to kind of do the surgeries and it's really cool. It's, it's a long day, but it's a cool, it's cool stuff. It really is cool stuff. I see what people say like, the oh, is a cool, cool spot. But that was my day. I hope that was interesting. Again, I'm sorry I can't record in the hospital. Obviously, that would be even more interesting stuff. Also, this video is sponsored by Amboss, which I think is absolutely insane. Why is Amboss so great? Why is it the only resource that I've consistently used across all three of my years in medical school so far? Well, the number one reason, the number one reason I would get Amboss, the number one reason I wanted Amboss in the first place is because it defines the words you go over when you're going over your Anki flashcards. So if you're doing like your Anki flashcards and you see a word that you don't understand, it'll be underlined. And then if you scroll over it, it tells you like the meaning of that word and not like a Google of that word. It's like a medical Google of that word. And I'm actually recording this little sponsor spot the day after my surgery vlog, which was yesterday. I remember I was trying to learn about kind of the histology and how people get colon cancer and what the treatment plans are for people with colon cancer because I was on the colorectal surgery service. And I was looking it up on my phone and I was answering questions from like the supervising physicians just from this thing on my phone because it was perfect. It had kind of every treatment you can do for this colon cancer. It had kind of when you need to do surgery. It had what imaging you should get. It had everything. And as you go through med school, you realize that you need like a medical Google. Google just doesn't cut it anymore in medicine. And finding the QBank is amazing. It's constantly reported as one of the most close to actual exam questions that there are. Within my friend group, people that did the AMBOSS QBank did better on their step one and step two exam as opposed to people who did not use the AMBOSS QBank. So if you wanna get access to these awesome underlines on your flashcards, really that's the only thing I should need to say. But if you also want a really good medical school Google and a top tier QBank, go to amboss.com slash Zach highly to get 10% off a membership to AMBOSS. Thanks again to AMBOSS so much for sponsoring this video. Thanks you to you all for watching this and I will see you on the next one.